Hey there, peeps. It's Tracy here. I think I'm here. Um, I had this brilliant idea that I was going to share my screen. And uh, now I can't see any of my things that I need to see. But I also can't figure out how to turn off my... There we go. Stop sharing because I'm hitting the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go back to what we know because uh, that was not working. I had a great idea. I was gonna show you how to find all the stuff that I was talking to you about online yesterday. Uh, look at this, I'm flipping cards around. I'm doing all sorts of crazy things tonight. My intent was to keep tonight short because yesterday was so long, but hey, let's see if that works. In the meantime, I'm also trying to get back to the screen I needed now uh, to see where I was at. Okay, here we go. I think I am uh, just, <laughs> Just about got myself sorted now. Oh, yep, some days. Some days are just days like that. So, how's your Wednesday going? Um, mine's actually been good. I've been playing most of the day, uh, working on some custom orders. Um, I've done so much with technology lately that just playing with paper is nice. That, that's what started the whole thing, right? So, it's very nice to just play with paper. Um, one of the other reasons I really did get into this is uh, I love how happy cards and stuff make people. When they make them, the success they feel, or when they get them, or when they know they get to give them to somebody and how excited people are going to be. And um, I'm often surprised by who keeps a card they get. Like people you wouldn't think that save them all and show them to their friends. And uh, it's very exciting. So I, I, and yes, obviously I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think there's great value in cards, but um but yeah, that's why we uh, that's why we like the idea of the nurses fundraiser. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there one more time because the deadline is Saturday for me to be able to um, get a number in. My good buddy Tamara is at 50% of her goal, just about 50% of her goal. I think she said 48 point something. Um, so she's trying to get 100 kits to give to nurses. And, and funny enough, we know the same nurse that is actually going to help her distribute these. Um, and from the it's a small world family. Um, my sister has had her best friend since kindergarten and her sister happens to be the mother of my friend's daughter's best friend. That didn't make any sense but over here on one hand we have hey everybody knows this person and over here hey everybody knows this person and it turns out it's the same person. Anyways it's very cool. Um, so yeah she's going to help us get these distributed. So now all we need is more kits to distribute. So if you have $30 to spare or some portion thereof, and you would like to sponsor a kit and put it in for a nurse, uh, we're gonna get together. We're gonna make uh, little cards or thank yous to go with them. We're gonna put a personal note on each one. She's gonna distribute, I keep saying distribute, but distribute them. And uh, it's, it's just gonna be like a little bit of sunshine in the days of some people who are having a rough go of things. Um, we've had a long couple of years and who really deserve our appreciation and a kind gesture. So that's what we're aiming for. Um, uh, nobody's profiting off this. We're taking our commission to pay for the extra shipping and to pay for the blocks that go in them. So this is any extra we get, any portions we get, it's going straight back into buying kits um, to give to them. So I would love it if we could hit that goal. Um, thank you to everybody. Sorry, I should have said that first. Thank you to everybody who has already pitched in. And, uh, and sponsored a kit, that is awesome. Um, yeah, I think these people deserve it. And uh, I don't know, it feels good to do something nice for people that that uh, have been getting a lot of flack lately <laughs> and have been working so hard lately. So um, my email is uh, paper underscore pusher at shaw.ca, I think everybody knows that. Did you see my fancy side I made? I meant to be holding this up at the beginning because I was so proud of making this. And I even laminated it because my lamination sheets come in full pages and I was laminating one card on it. And I'm like, well, I can't just laminate one card. So I have to laminate something else. So I made my fancy media sheet or whatever, whatever the right name for this would be called. Um, so I was like, ooh, look at this. But anyways, there it is, paper pusher, chaw.ca. And you can ETF me the funds and uh, they will go towards some very deserving recipients. I have, I have, uh, also, if, I guess if you just wanted one of the kits for yourself, the deadline is the same date. Um, the deadline is actually Sunday, but I will be finalizing everything Saturday because uh, Sunday we're, we're starting our Thanksgiving weekend. I'm going to work up to Saturday morning, take my son to hockey, which is very early, 
um, get a bunch of work done. And then Sunday, Monday, two day weekend, no alarms, no work, no nothing. Um, a whole lot of TV and good food. So yes, if you'd like to order one of these, let me know. Uh, the other thing, and I, <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you these cards now because, or something else, because I don't have any props. Um, I was gonna show you on the screen. Uh, I mentioned yesterday that the kit, the Love Santa, I, now, now I've forgotten what it is and I've closed all my screens. The, uh, the tag kit, the Christmas tag kit has uh, just been released yesterday. The card kit sold out in about three weeks, but because the card kit is sold out, I have a feeling the tag one will, will sell it faster. The tags are big. So this is one of our note cards. This is one of the things I made yesterday demonstrating this apparatus. There is three techniques in one in this simple little note card. But this note card is just a little bit smaller than a regular greeting card. So this is a regular greeting card. And when I measured the, the kits, the tags are almost this big, right? So very easy to take the tag, which none of us have yet because we I've ordered one, but it's, I mean, it doesn't get here that fast. Oh, I wish it did. Um, so the tags are pretty good size though. So to take the tag and turn, turn them into cards would be very easy. Pop in a card base, put it down. You've got the ribbon already. I mean, this would be so cute and so easy to make. And then you could jazz it up as much as you wanted with different papers and such, depending on how stacked your, your crafter is. So I think that that kit's going to go fairly quickly, um, which is why uh, I, I wanted to make sure everybody knew yesterday, I will be putting in one more order tonight. And then if you're ready to order, you wanna order other stuff, you can let me know at any time and I will help you order. But um, if you want the shared shipping, if you order it yourself, I think I confused people last week. One of the comments was about the cost of the, of the kit. If you order a kit and have it shipped direct to your home or order anything off the online store, the minimum shipping you pay is $9.95. And then once you get over $100 worth of product, it just becomes 10%. So when I order stuff and I say, hey, you can tag it in with me on your order, I just charge the 10% because I tend to group things together. At this point, I am, believe it or not, just about out of dimensionals. I know, for shame. So I will be putting in an order for that. I'm, I've used up a ton of white paper lately, so I need to get some more white paper. Um, so I'll, I'll be ordering a bunch of stuff. So by the time I put an order in, I'm generally at $100 anyways, because I like to maximize my shipping value. It really irks me, <laughs> and, and there's probably, it's probably bad math. It irks me to put in for an order for less than $100 when I pay the shipping. So I tend to, you know, stock up, make a big order. So when you do yours, I just calculate the shipping at 10% because we're sharing the cost of it. So I don't know if that's right or not, but I'm doing it anyway, so it makes, makes sense to me. So yes, if you order them straight to your home, and I mean, it's still worth it, it's still awesome. Um, and UPS will bring it right to your door and that's the convenience and that's why you pay the, the shipping you do because UPS brings it right to your doorstep. Um, so yes, you can order the kits and have, have them brought in or if you wanna, like I said, share some shipping you just tag it in with my stuff. So I was also surprised when I saw the notice that those were coming out that they added in, here, I'm gonna change these as we go. They added in um, cellophane treat bags and I should have come up with a better prop for this, but <laughs> I keep my keyboard under my desk. I have the best desk ever. Thank you, Corey. Um, it has a little tray here, which at the time I wasn't even totally sure what it was going to be, but it has turned out to be the perfect keyboard slash um, mouse tray. Because I'm working on cards, I have a piece of card stock. This, if you imagine a standard keyboard, this is how big those treat bags are. When I measure, I like to measure against something. So this is what they are. They're four inches by nine and a half inches. That is a good size treat bag. So if you're making cookies or bigger stuff, that's awesome. If you have, I have a little sealer and I have tried it on there and it worked, but you can also just use tape. If you have smaller treats, you can also cut the bags in half, seal one other end up with just some adhesive or like I said, if you have one of those dehydrators that has that little sealer strip on it. Um, and then you can make two treat bags out of each treat bag. But they're designed to go with the tags. So there's 12 tags three each of four designs, and there's 12 bags, <laughs> three each of four designs. And when I looked, at, the picture's not the greatest that I put out yesterday, I didn't have a great picture, but there appears to be snowballs, trees, um, kind of like a lattice pattern. And I have forgotten what the other one was. Oh, foliage, like leaves and such um, on these bags. So the bags are kind of clear with this white on them and the tags will go perfectly with them and they will make a lovely, um, a lovely treat that you're handing out step stamping. Um, this is the reverse. I think I called it um, 
reverse stamping yesterday um, or reflection stamping because this example you have reflection it's actually called mirror image i thought of it afterwards i'm like i told you guys the wrong name it's called mirror image stamping but that's how you get the same stamp to do double duty so that was uh that was my technique tuesday that i did yesterday so i i believe it or not, i've had two people ask me oh hello jen hello um, I'm, I'm really bad at, at uh, paying attention to the comments, so I'm not sure how long you've been there, but hello. Um, so it just so happens that in the last week or so, I have had two people ask me about the Stamparatus. And I, I love the Stamparatus for anybody who watched my very enthusiastic hour and a half long discussion of the Stamparatus yesterday. Um, I love the Stamparatus. It does so many things. So that was easy enough to pick for my first technique Tuesday. What should I pick? Hey, let's do a bunch of Stamparatus techniques um, because that happened to be what people were asking for. So I do plan to do each Tuesday, something like that. Hopefully they won't all be that long and some of them will be pre-recorded. I have to have, I know, my big, busy social calendar. I actually have plans next Tuesday afternoon. I'm very excited to see some awesome people that I haven't seen in a while and outside socially distance all safe. And um, so I'm gonna pre-record the technique video for Tuesday and just have it upload. You have no idea how excited I was yesterday when I went to YouTube and it live streamed and I done everything the first, right the first try. Oh my goodness, I was so excited for myself, <laughs> sitting all alone in my office, all excited. Um, so I will, I will pre-post. I haven't yet figured out if I can, uh, if I can schedule posts to YouTube. I haven't actually got that far, but I will figure out a way to make that work. Um, but if you have ideas for what you would like to see, then by all means, send me a message because I would love to, I mean, I could talk about salmon for hours and hours, as you noticed. Um, but I would kind of prefer it if I was talking about what you wanted to hear. This seems like that might make it more fun for the rest of you. Um, I'm going to show you this again. And if you watched yesterday's video, I, I don't know, I showed it like 10 times yesterday, I think. And I still haven't decorated this because I just have it sitting like this on my desk because I absolutely love the way this white ink looks on this evening evergreen cardstock. And I don't want to cover any of it up. So yes, that's weirdo me. Um, it just turned out so nicely though. So I'm just going to put that back where I can look at it again and not block my list because believe it or not as much as i'm just like rambling along um oh, see now i have nothing here um <laughs> they uh i do actually have a list of what i'm supposed to be talking about uh, let me see i got two more things on my list the clearance rack um the clearance rack they take stuff from previous catalogs i think this stuff is is mostly from last year that i saw in there there's some good punches came back a bunch of stuff and most of it is discounted I guess it's all discounted. Uh, some of it is discounted up to 60% off though, which is awesome. So um, sometimes when you miss something and you're kicking yourself and thinking, I wish I'd got that. Every now and again, it comes back on the clearance rack and uh, you get stamps. I, I think I've only ever seen stamps once. And that was an exception because stamps, they make Stampin' Up! makes their own in Utah. So they don't ever really have surplus of them. They sort of make them as they need them and they sort of forecast how much they'll need. And so there's not usually a ton of those left over, but the punches and, and papers and stuff that are exported, um, or I guess imported for them. Um, there's lots of those show up on the clear track and you can get some really good deals. There's some good kits in there that are like a fraction of the price, um, but stuff does go really quickly. And so basically if you can see it on the clear track, it's left in stock. Um, I've had times where I've been ordering stuff on there and by the time I got to check out, it was gone. So for the most part, once you start shopping, if, if you can put it in your cart, it will likely be there, but you got to pretty much complete your order in the same sitting. Um, lots of deals there. So you can, if you want to add clearance rack stuff, um, if you just want a couple little things, let me know. Like I said, I'm putting an order in at nine tonight. So um, I can add anything on there if you need. Oh, let me see. There's, you can buy Christmas presents in there, all sorts of fun things you can buy for other people. Uh, the other thing I'm doing, I'm working on streamlining stuff. This is why I decided Monday was way too busy for trying to get my live at three o'clock in the afternoon. There just keeps seeming to be stuff coming up. Uh, and then I realized next Monday's a holiday. So I would, probably wouldn't have done it on the Monday. And then when Facebook decided it was taking the day off, I thought, well, this is the perfect time to switch from Mondays to Tuesdays and let's just do something different. But I'm working on sort of a Tuesday technique tonight. So what's up Wednesday really was intended to just be, hey, I'll show you stuff. Oh, I thought of something else I'm gonna show you too. Um, I'll show you stuff. I'll talk about things. I'll make sure everybody knows what's out there. If I had any classes or stuff planned right now, I would uh, we talk about those. Um, I am working on some card kits. And once I have those, I want to have the actual samples done so I can show you and say, this is one, this is one. Um, then we'll do that. So this is really just more of a, hey, 
let's chat. <laughs> Which would be better if you could actually chat back, but it's more of like, hey, let's listen to Tracy ramble. And then uh, Fridays, I'm going to uh, put up. I, I, I like to. I like alliteration, so uh, I, I figure it might be called uh, Flattery Fridays because they say imitation is the greatest form of flattery. So my casing the catalog and casing other cards. I figure Flattery Fridays. This it's really hard to say for me though, so maybe not. But Fridays I will post something. I might do a live. I might just post it. I might put the challenges up. I quite enjoy the challenges. Um, I might try a couple of mystery cards where I just give you components. And you come up with something. Hello, Coral. Um, I might show you a case and say here, or a sketch, I mean, and say here, see what you can come up with. There's lots of fun things. I'd like to see the cards you make too, instead of it always being just listen to Tracy and look at what Tracy made. Um, and then tips. I have one more tip for you. Look at this. I forgot to mention this yesterday when I was talking about the stamparatus. So now you'll have to go back and look at all the other tips and, and highlights in that one. And like I said, grab yourself a coffee and a snack because the video is an hour and a half long. Um, but I do go through 10 different uses for the stamp wraps. Um, I talk about the stampin' spots a little bit. Uh, and one of the things I found, and these, I got these at the Michaels years ago, and they are four pictures. And so I want to say they're four by six. They're actually there, I guess they're for four by six pictures. So they're they're a little bit bigger than four by six is my favorite ruler. They're four and a half by six and a quarter is what they are. These so, but they're designed for like scrapbook, scrapbooking for pictures. But you can fit, if I had them, eight stampin' spots in here. I put, uh, so I'm still directionally challenged. Oh, I can't believe that's right side up. Um, I have my little, uh, one of my best Christmas presents ever, my labeler. Um, so I just put this, cause these are like all the blues and purples that go in one box. And then the, the part that makes this really worth it though, is to keep the ink close to the surface of the spot. It's actually better if you store it upside down. Now I've had other boxes where as soon as you, so you put yourself back in, you're done with your spot and you put it back in and you close the lid and you flip it like this. And some of them flip and some don't, some land on their sideways and some lids pop off. And then you curse and swear. And then it's not a fun craft room anymore. But this box is just enough. I'll do that a few more times so you can see. Um, just enough that the lids don't come off. The things flip over perfectly. So I store them like this, which is why the writing is the way it is here um, on my shelf. And then when, when I need them, I can just pull them out, I flip it over, I use the spots I want to put them back. So these things are handy dandy. Um, everybody has different little techniques and little things, but I have noticed people have a great fascination for uh, finding better ways to store things. So when I was using these yesterday and I had it set out with my 20 other things I had set out beside me, um, I totally forgot to mention, but photo boxes. Perfect for your stamping spot. All right. So there we go. Look at that. I, I meant to keep this under a half an hour because I went so long yesterday and I actually like blew through all that stuff and was finished in 20 minutes. Woo, -woo yay me. Do you want to look at this card again? We can look at this card for 10 minutes and make it a whole half hour long. Woo okay. I'm actually going to, I will finish as much as I don't want to cover this card up. I will finish my, my lovely foliage, my two friends chatting, my Holy cow, that is Lakeside Property Card. My, now that's more, that's more like it, Lakeside Property Card. My Christmas tree ornaments and my happy little penguin. I will actually turn these all into cards and I will post that uh, sometime in the next couple of days with my results of my, um, <laughs> thank you, Jen. Yeah, I can't wait to see how I do it either. It's always, it's always a gamble because I want to put stuff on and I, you know, me, I like die cuts and all sorts of things, but I don't want to cover any of it up. <laughs> so maybe I'll just put like a really tiny thing scrolling through the middle. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I will finish these cards up so you can see the finished product. If you want to learn more about the Stamparatus, I somehow have picked up leaves in the middle of my card. Um, if you want to learn more about the Stamparatus, you can check it out on my YouTube channel, Pip Pusher TV. And uh, like I said, 10 uses of the Stamparatus. I highly recommend it. And then, uh, yeah, stay tuned on Friday and see what I come up with. And if anybody does need anything ordered. I'm really desperately looking for where I put my nurse's card, which I had out and now I can't find because I really want to put it out so people can remember to support the nurses. And if you can support a kit, um, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you ladies for joining me tonight. And uh, thanks to everybody who watches the replay. Appreciate it very much. Enjoy your Wednesday evening. And now uh, we'll talk to you again on Friday. Thanks everyone. Good night.